It's been a while I've been up here. Come on. You guys know how what I expect of you. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. There we go, Daytona. All right. So welcome to One Million Cups Daytona Beach. Uh, we are a small part of a national entrepreneur networking campaign uh, brought on by the Kauffman Foundation out of Kansas City. Uh, let me see a show of hands. Who's first time here with us today? Lift your hand down. Thank you. Welcome. 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 Thanks for coming, guys. We appreciate it. Uh, this is designed to ground to uh, for us to share information between entrepreneurs and business people to kind of learn from each other uh, and also support each other. Uh, today we've got an excellent speaker. Uh, he's actually a, a good personal friend of mine. We've been uh, former business partners and probably will be again. Uh, but he is a uh, health and wellness coach as well as an author uh, and published author. I apologize. And, uh, and also an author's coach. And he's here to talk to us today about his new concept. Uh, and I'll let him introduce uh, that to you. His name is Sean Donovan. Please, uh, round of applause. Welcome, Sean. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. By show of hands, how many of you have ever heard a good story? How many of you have ever read a good story? How many of you have ever told a good story, even if it was about a date or dinner last night? Now, how many of you have ever had the thought that maybe you should write a book? You're not alone. 94% of respondents to a New York Times survey expressed a strong desire to write a book in their lifetime. The sad reality is that a very, very small fraction of a percentage actually will. Why is that? Well, we'll talk about that in a little while. I've been fascinated with writing for a very long time. In fact, I wrote and published my first two books in elementary school, back where you know, first contest. <laughs> and something stuck with me. I don't know what it was, but I always had that desire to write and publish. Since then, I've written and published, for real, four books. But even more important and more exciting than that, I've helped multiple other authors write and publish their first books as well. Now, I can tell you that when I received the first proof copy of my first book in the mail, it was absolutely one of the most exciting days of my life. And I got that package, ripped it open, I think I drove it all around the town and orbit, and showed that book off to everybody. And the cool thing about working with other authors is it's allowed me to experience that excitement of seeing someone else get their first book as well. And that's been very powerful to me. Why write? Hmm. Well, quite frankly, we live in the information age, right? And when you think about it, everything that we experience on a daily basis, whether it's a TV show, a movie, a politician's speech, a sales presentation, it was all written at some point, or thought up and then put into some tangible medium, right? So sharing information is very important. It's helped society evolve. In fact, history has been passed down from generation to generation through the written and spoken word. And when you dissect the word history, you get his story, right? Let me share with you a story. Uh, a friend of mine's grandfather was passing away, and we knew that my friend was going to be inheriting his vehicle. And it had one of those touch pads on the door, you know, a little keypad for access. I love that. I'm forward to it. Has it. And I urged my friend to get that code to the door from him before he passed so they wouldn't have to spend money to reprogram the door, you know, get it replaced. It's kind of an awkward subject for him in the brooch, so it never happened. He passed and the door code was lost and had to be reprogrammed. Now, this man's passing and not getting the door code is tricky. And the scope of things is just really tip of the iceberg. But what's cool is I got to sit down with this man over the last few years and I got to hear some pretty amazing stories. I found out that he lived in a foxhole in Nazi-occupied Nazi Poland during the wintertime, with no food, nearly froze to death. So no wonder the man hated the cold and ended up moving from New York down to Florida to retire. So that was pretty cool. So the point is, we all have a story to tell. We all have information to share, whether it's knowledge that you've amassed from 30 or 40 years in, in a career to passing down your own family history or just sharing your grandmother's casserole recipe. We can't let this information die. It's important to share. 
problem is, most people will never write a book or accomplish the things that they truly desire in life. Why? Well, quite frankly, I think it boils down to lack of commitment to oneself. Now, people will tell you, oh, well, I just don't have the time. It's really a lack of commitment. And think about all the ways that we waste time, from TV to social media to porn, whatever it is that people do <laughs> with their time. My goal is to change that for people. My goal is to help others accomplish their goal and dream of writing and publishing their first book. These are some of my happy uh, past clients here. Now, how am I going to do this? Right away, I I've found in my life the best way to do something different is to go somewhere different and think differently. I've done some of my best writing and come up with some of my most creative ideas while I was traveling. Why? Well, you think about it. We get in a routine, we get stuck in these habits on a daily basis, and it's hard for us to break those habits and break that mold to do something different. It's easy to just stay in our typical routines and do the typical things. So if you can pull yourself out of your daily routine, go somewhere isolated, like an island, and focus on doing the things that you really desire in life, you're going to see some profound results. So the Right Away Island Retreat is an all-inclusive seven-day experience that is going to stimulate your creativity. You're going to have no choice but to get a creative flow and to write it. We're going to do some very engaging and uh, stimulating activities. You're going to go on a sailing excursion. You're going to go on a hike. You're going to go snorkel over a shipwreck. I've been to this shipwreck multiple times. There's an old chest, an old cooler that sank probably 20 years ago. It's all barnacle encrusted. It's about 15, 20 feet down. It looks like a treasure chest if you use your imagination. So the attendees are going to go out, we're going to snorkel around this chest, we're going to see the shipwreck, and then we're going to go back on shore. And I'm going to tell them a little story. I'm going to tell them how the seven of us struggled to get this chest up. We finally get it to the beach and drag it up on the beach and we chisel with this barnacle encrusted lock and then finally we bust this chest open and what's inside? How does it change your life? What is it? Is it nothing? Is it 20 year old beer? Is it gold? <laughs> Go! Right! So we're going to do a lot of stimulating prompts like that and, uh, and have people tap into their creativity. It's going to be all inclusive. Food will be included as well. I have a lot of backgrounds as a health and wellness coach, and I've found that in order to stimulate your creativity, you need to feed your body with some good, healthy food. So all of that's going to be taken care of for you. We're also going to be doing some activities, getting out and about. Think about it. Emotion fuels a lot of writing. How many songs and books and love letters have been written because of love or because of war, right? When you look at the word emotion, and you break it down, E from Latin means from motion, movement. So emotion comes from motion. So we'll be out and about and capitalizing on that. Now, this retreat is definitely not for everyone. If you can't go a week without TV, this is probably not for you. If you prefer air conditioning over a cool, crisp ocean breeze, definitely not going to work for you. And if you want to continue living your life the same way and have that typical packaged American vacation, then go live somebody else's stories and go to Disney World. If you're looking to step out of the box and be adventurous, and maybe start the next chapter of your life, do something really cool and have some tangible result, a book in your hand that you can then pass down to your grandkids or pass along to your peers when you retire, then this is the retreat for you. But most importantly, this is for people who want to commit to themselves. I'm going to be very selective about who I let come to this author retreat. It's a small, intimate group. You can only take six people to maintain a high level of customer service. <laughs> now, what are attendees going to get? Full immersion for a week, all inclusive. All you got to do is get themselves to the island. And they're going to get three months of follow up coaching, all the way from the idea in their head to the published book in their hand. Editing, formatting, all of that is included as well, all for only $9,700.
And it's only going to be available to six authors. The reason why, we want a lot of one-on-one -on -one attention. We really want to make this an intimate experience where people can collaborate, feel like they're in a comfortable environment, bring out the best in themselves. And it's also very important to me, starting out on this venture, that we have a high level of success with the people that come. So let's talk about the financials here. Basically, I've got everything covered from advertising all the way down to transportation once they get on the island, meals, everything included. So the total expenses for six authors, just shy of $3,000. And expenses for six guests, here's where it gets interesting, because it's all based on double occupancy and because we're going to be spending the next three months working one-on-one -on -one with these authors, it's a lot less expensive to take a guest along with you. But as you see on the income here, it's also very lucrative when a second guest comes along with an author. So the income for six authors gross is 58.2, add the second guest, about 19.5, total for six authors and six guests, 77,700. And for six authors, we're looking at a profit margin of about 18,500, 32% margin. Margin goes way up for the six guests, and then we total out on a one-week uh, uh, one-week resort plus the three months is going to give us a profit of uh, thirty-one seven fifty-one for about a forty percent profit margin. What am I looking for? Well, I'm looking for one investor to help me kick this into high gear. Looking for an initial investment of twenty-five thousand. And what this is going to cover is branding, website development, uh, supplies and resources I'm going to need up front to get this thing kicked off. Now, what's the investor going to get in return? They're going to get 25% of all profit until their initial $25,000 investment is paid off. And then they're going to get a lifetime residual of 12% on all profits from future retreats. And the reason why I want to do that is I want to keep the investor engaged with me because I anticipate in the future growing and possibly needing reinvestment uh, later on, which we would jump back in and follow the same formula for repayment of investment. And I'm anticipating uh, a profit, a yearly profit, somewhere between seventy-four and one hundred twenty-seven thousand. Prospectus and goals. I want to conduct an initial successful retreat sometime by the end of spring 2017, with six attendees, four of which are going to be published within four months of that, of that retreat. Six months later, I want to do two back-to-back -back retreats and capitalize on, and since we're already there, there's a lot of expense in airfare and travel and new supplies, so we'll couple and do two back-to-back, -back, each with six. And then six months after that, do two more back-to-backs. So in a year, goals will be four retreats. Now there's opportunity for expansion and growth as well. So once we have some successful authors and some testimonials, I think we'll be able to exponentially increase our price point over the 9700 price point that we have now. Also be able to bring in additional trainers and facilitators to help. Uh, I still want to keep small intimate groups, so maybe we'll take 18 people and have three groups of six. Maybe we'll make it genre specific for fiction or nonfiction and we'll do some rotation there between the facilitators and possibly branch out to other locations as well. Right now, my base is going to be in the Caribbean on a small island called Water Island in St. Thomas. Anybody ever heard of that? It's the fourth U.S. Virgin Islands. Nobody knows about it. And also, ultimately, we're going to sell some more ancillary services, whether it's ebook conversions, audio voiceovers and production, or even ghostwriting services or screenplay writing as well. So where am I at right now in the business? Right now it's just a really good idea. It's a concept. So I got this idea from uh, writing myself, having great experiences while traveling, meeting other authors while traveling, and following a lot of gurus like Rob Cosberg, Joel Freelander, Steve Harrison, all of whom are doing a very good job of offering author coaching packages, publishing and promotion packages as well. And certainly there's a lot of author retreats out there if you go online, all different price points. 
I've been to seminars myself, speaker training seminars, where they promote some sort of author coaching package, but nobody seems to have put the whole package together and offered the all-inclusive uh, island experience as well as the three months follow-up coaching and publishing from start to finish. So what are my challenges? Well, first one is, of course, not knowing if people are going to show up. I think I've got a pretty good marketing budget. I've allocated $3,000 to online advertising, and basically I'm banking on a 500 to 1 conversion rate. 500 clicks up to a dollar a click to convert one person uh, to a customer. I've also offered a 7% commission, referral fee, whatever you want to call it, for travel agents. I have access to a network of travel agents as well. And I know that people will spend that kind of money uh, to go on an awesome trip. That I've uh, talked to several travel agents who've booked cruises in the $25,000 to $40,000 range for a week or a month. And certainly that's not a, uh, no one-on-one -on -one coaching and no book, just on a trip. So will people spend that money? I believe so, especially in the demographic that I'm going after. Also, logistics and planning, there's a lot of things out of my control. You know, hurricane comes when the islands, uh, and obviously I want to try to plan it in springtime, in times when it's not keep hurricane season. I've been to the, uh, this island and this retreat several times, and sometimes it's great. There's a nice ocean breeze, there's zero mosquitoes. I've been there before where you step out of your tent, or your cabin rather, and 500 mosquitoes swarm you right away. So there are some factors out of my control I can't help. Once again, it's where it comes back to the target market here, the demographic that we're going to look at. that people aren't going to care so much about that. They're going to be there for the experience and the long haul. So how can One Million Cups help me? Well, actually, you guys have already helped me a lot before you even say a word. This great idea has been rattling around in my head for some time, and buddy Tyler here helped prompt me to speak A Million Cups. Once I put this date on the calendar, it's amazing how serious I get when I have a deadline. I have my back up against the wall, so I hustle and bust my butt to pull everything together on this just to stand up here and speak in front of you guys today. So thank you for the opportunity to be here, and thank you for the inherent motivation that came along with it. Um, but, you know, guys, what am I missing here? What am I not thinking of? How or where can I improve? And um, even more importantly, I want your feedback. There's some things that I just don't quite have dialed in yet, and it's amazing. I can sit down and coach someone else, and I can be very creative and be very open and just have the, uh, the brainstorming sessions flow. But when it's your own thing, your own presentation, your own baby, sometimes you're just too much in your own head and you can't see from a 30,000-foot view. So I've come up with some great ideas at 2 a.m., jumped out of bed, jumped on GoDaddy, looked for a domain name, and ah, my party had the same great idea, shucks. So, I've got a few domain name ideas up here, and uh, a few other ones rattling around in my head as well. I own a couple of these, but I'm certainly open to suggestions. So, web development and domain name is one area that I really need to work, as well as branding. I've got a few ideas to think around like that. So, some of my ideas, uh, I just a show of hands from you guys, tell me which one you like, you can vote for more than one, or if there's one you really uh, uh, bond on, let me know. But how about from mine to medium.com? Anybody like that one? No. Told you. You're right, Tom. Listen to me. What about author island retreat? Mm -hmm. Author island? Rightisland.com. More. And what about rightaway.com? Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> That's kind of the one I was leaning toward anyway. It's a uh, nice little castaway, rightaway kind of theme. Friend of mine has a sail charter business, Hemingway Sail Away, so the whole rightaway sail away thing is together as well. And guys, I want to challenge you to think about what your story is in life. What legacy you're going to leave behind as well. So, any thoughts, questions? Yes? How, how often do you, once, once the initial 